Today I'm going to show you one of the quickest, easiest and most cost effective ways to fix a beauty problem that we all have. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what this is and how I'm going to go ahead and fix this terrible beauty affliction known as hard pan, then stay tuned. So most of you will recognize this um, happening to your powder products. What is happening here is we have what's called hard pan. And you can see that there's some areas here that are not affected by it. They're still normal and they're still going to let off quite a lot of um, nice, pretty color. But we also have this section here that no matter how hard we swatch, it's not really going to give us much at all. That's still some color from the first swatch. So um, this is what we do call hard pan. And what it is, is simply the um, powders absorb the oils and liquid products from our brushes and then create a hard crust over the powder. This happens really easily, particularly if you're someone who does not clean your brushes very um, often or if you are using a very dewy foundation and then not letting it set first or not setting it with a um, loose powder first, you are going to create this problem. So um, in the past, before I found out this hack by accident, I should say, um, I used to actually scrape off the top layers of my product, product sorry, and um, that was quite a shame because not only did you waste a lot of product, but you ended up um, messing up the embossed kind of texture of products. Now, I have to say, for some reason, my Tarte blushes always seem to um, suffer from this the most. You can see that quite well there, the texture. Can you see how there's a film there on top of the product and the product really is only usable here in this section here the rest is gone hard which means that you're not going to get the most out of your product um, as I said for some reason my Tarte blushes and my MAC blushes absorb the most oil and moisture I'm not sure why this is this um, hack or this technique really works best on products like MAC blushes or Tarte um, sorry, NARS blushes. Uh, it does work very well on the Tarte blushes, but not as well as a pan that has just a flat um, surface without all this um, detailing. So here's what you're going to need. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe that you didn't figure this out first. First of all, I'll tell you, I found this out by accident. One morning I was getting ready in a real rush, as usual, I was running late. And um, one of the last things I do when I leave the house is I usually um, get one of those sticky rollers and um, roll myself of any let's say fluff or cat hair cat owners I know you feel me here and I just placed it down and I didn't realize that I'd placed it down on one of my pans now um, I left the house did whatever I had to do during the day came home from work and found that the um, sticky roller had actually stuck to my makeup which I thought was a massive issue but let me show you what happens so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your pan and you are going to go ahead and just grab some sticky tape. I know, right? So you're going to grab some sticky tape. The one I've got here is probably not the best because it's um, not as sticky as some of the others. But if you have a more sticky one, that's even better. And you're going to place the tape over the affected areas. And you're just going to press it down. If you have um, like masking tape or one of those thick tapes that you can also... Um, that you can, they can use, sorry, let me try again. If you have one of those thick, um, like packing tapes or masking tapes or any of those sort of things, you can actually um, cut them in a circle and fit them straight to the pan. But there's no reason why this doesn't work anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that, you're gonna press it in a little bit, then you are going to take that off, and lo and behold, a whole bunch of the hard product has come off, revealing um, some of the um, soft product underneath okay now this is going to take a couple of goes I'm going to keep doing this while I talk to you and um, show you what actually happens so you may have to go over these sections a couple of times but really in the grand scheme of things it really can happen in under two or three minutes you can revive your product to being back to new once you do this you can see there's some more um, of the hard products has come off here once you do this you will find that the product underneath um, is quite soft. Um, it's actually probably softer than when you first got the product because you are actually revealing the middle of the product, which is usually more powdery than the top because often the tops are sprayed with a um, 
sealer or um, at least the pressing process um, will make it a little harder. So we're still going ahead. This is now the third um, go and I've actually just gone over a section that wasn't too hard. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think about this. I'm going to post this up on the blog as usual. Let me know if you have any other beauty hacks because I'm always interested in that. Can you see all that product coming off? Um, I know that it um, does seem like we're wasting quite a bit of product, but I would prefer to um, waste, you know, a smidgen of product knowing that the rest of the product was going to work really well than going ahead and scraping off the top layer or, in worst case scenario, getting rid of the product. Okay, um, I actually like with this tart blush that because the um, top is um, embossed or pressed into a, a shape, you're actually getting quite a pretty shape into the sticky tape. So there's a positive thanks tart for that. Um, I think I'm just about done here. I still need to do around the edges a little bit. But let me just show you. Um, can you see that there's still a little bit there? You know, this has taken me a minute to fix up. Um, compare it to um, this one. You can see there's a right color difference. This one I think was more noticeable than that one actually. Um, so now we have a full pan um, of blush that works. Um, this is a very light one, so probably not the best one to show you. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know other beauty hacks. Um, head on over to lipstickandlinguini.com and let me know what you think. Um, or leave a comment below and please leave me a thumbs up. Um, I love seeing all that um, positive reinforcement from you guys. Um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.